It's 605 right now. You may have noticed bills for tolls starting to flood back into your mailbox. The state paused processing of toll payments for several months and now they're trying to catch up. Yeah, and that means that some drivers are receiving boxes full of citations and bills for hundreds of dollars. WMAR 2 News' Mallory Safaste has reported extensively on this backlog. This morning, she takes a closer look at the issue and this new debate over waiving late fees because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. Drivers are being hit with large bills, and if they don't pay on time, they'll be penalized $25 more per toll, and it goes back to a decision drivers had no say in. 203 citations from the Easy Pass division. It's loud, like there's a lot in here. 129 to be exact. From a dealership to a mom of two, drivers are seeing stacks of toll violations. They date back to 2020, but drivers are just now receiving them with a warning. If they don't pay in full, they'll be charged thousands in late fees. The total amount is $1,209.36, which we have until February 14th to pay. Otherwise, the fine goes up to $6,284.36. If I don't pay by the 18th, which is less than 30 days of notice, it's $4,000 in late fees. The Maryland Transportation Authority paused processing tolls for seven months in 2020 to give drivers a financial break. Now, over a year later, they want to collect and they want it on their schedule. At this point, we're not going to have a choice but to pay it and have to try to figure out which customers were in these vehicles going back that far. Well, am I going to pay my easy pass bill or am I going to pay my rent and water and all that? Like, it's just, it's mentally stressful in addition to financially stressful. Senator Cory McRae introduced legislation that would allow for payment plans, recall debts sent to collections, and waive penalties for backlog tolls. The MDTA has made concessions, but McRae told his committee last week that they've hit a wall on late fees. It was not self-inflicted, so they did not choose to get their bill late. MDTA has vehemently said, Corey, this is going to impact our trust agreement if we waive the fees for these folks. In its response to the bill, the agency said waiving those penalties would impact their bottom line by $45.7 million. They believe civil penalties incentivize drivers to pay up, and often they'll waive late fees when customers contact them which is no easy feat. We tried calling them, no answer. We couldn't get through. Call wait times still exceed an hour, with on average 19,000 calls a day and 118 agents answering phones. We asked to speak with MDTA Director William Pines about these issues. He declined our request for an interview. Senator McRae is now asking the MDTA board to weigh in. While drivers face hard deadlines, and harder decisions. I'm talking to some family to get some, you know, money lined up and all that. Hopefully we can pay some, but I'm, I'm honestly not sure. It's it's a lot and it's unexpected. I'm not sure how they expect everyone to pay two years worth of tolls in less than 30 days. An MDTA spokesperson said drivers with outstanding tolls are sent a postcard in the mail 60 days before they receive their actual bill. And if they pay early, they're given a 15% discount. Grace and Kathy said they don't remember receiving that postcard. Senator McRae added that if the board fails to take action, he plans to continue his push to waive these fees through legislation. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Mallory Safaste.